Where do I see myself in five years? Married with two kids? Retired on a beach? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know, actually. That's such a, that's such a far ways out. It's hard to think five years out at the age of 23. I don't think anybody, like, I think it's really hard to plan that far out. Like, you could have some idea, but at the end of the day, do you really fucking know, you know? What was I doing five years ago? Five years ago, we were playing Fortnite. We just started our Fortnite journey. Like, I didn't know this is where I'd be in five years, you know? Living in a house with roommates. It's been five years, dude. Fortnite's been out for five years. Can you believe that? What happened? For a third of my life has passed since Fortnite came out. You're 15 now? Damn, isn't that crazy, bro? Fortnite's all you've, mon all you've known, motherfucker. <laughs> I was born in Fortnite. Molded by it. I mean, honestly, it's one quarter of my life. Almost. Or maybe, maybe one fifth. Closer to one fifth than one quarter. I'm already in my feelings watching the Shia interview. Dude, I love that interview that Shia did, man. Do you guys know that I met Shia LaBeouf in person? We were in New York and dude, Shia LaBeouf was, he was just walking down the street, like the shopping street, really fucking random street. We we're walking and we stop and we like kind of like notice him and we're like, oh my God, that's Shia LaBeouf. And he was wearing like this backpack with like these beads on it. He was wearing like a, like a, like a Jamaican hat. Like he was like in disguise basically. And then we walk up, we walk up next to him and we're at this stoplight and we peek over. He peeks over at us and he goes, <laughs> I mean, this was like Transformers Shia and we didn't say a word. We were like, oh. <laughs> fucking walked on his own way. You ever had Tim Horns? I used to work at Tim Horns was my first job. That's where I work. That's where I saved up money for my first gaming PC, bro. Tim Horns. You want a double double? Large double double? I was the best motherfucking Tim Horns worker ever. Timmy Hose, yes, sir. My buddy Kyle's number one Tim Horns guy. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, I don't know who the fuck Kyle is, right? But I'm the type of dude where if you order a 10 pack unassorted, like assorted, like you don't, you don't, you're not particular about. You're not particular about what types of donuts are in there, that bitch. I'm the type of dude to give you five chocolate, three glazed, three sprinkle. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little extra one in there. The amount of times I gave everybody an extra Timbit, it was actually, I should probably be in jail. I would be, I'd pass out extra Timbits like it was going out of style. When them, tw when them bitches fill a 20 pack of Timbits with 10 old fashioned plain. Oh! <laughs> Ah! Bro, the pain. The fucking pain, bro. But that been working at Dunkin' Donuts to get a PC. Get it in, man. I think I think your first job is like such a great experience. Like you could tell some streamers really never worked a single fucking job, bro. Cause I think you learn the number one thing you learn is like, bro, no matter what the job is. The people you're working with and the environment that y'all make is really like, that shit's king. That shit's so king, more than, more than what you're actually doing at work. You know what I mean? And so being able to like make the vibe right at work and like vibe with the people there and make that environment for the people that are there is so such a valuable experience that I'll never fucking forget. Cause there would be some motherfuckers that would come in and you know, they fucking come in looking like this. They had a terrible day, fucking. And they just, they just killed the shift. You know what I mean? The shift is ruined because this, the, whatever happened in their personal life, which is respectable. You know, you can't always put on a good face, but you don't got to project it on the other people around you. You don't got to be a bitch to the people around you because you had a bad day. Like be an adult, you know? Whenever I would come in, bro, I would try my best to just fucking get people talking, get people laughing, be goofy, dance. I was a goofball, bro. I was a goober. I love dealing with rude customers. Oh, uh, bro, I ain't even gonna front. There's some fucked up shit I did one time. I'm not gonna lie. I'll never forget this. There's this lady, bitch, right? She came in, big bitch. But she was real particular about her coffee order, right? It would always be like a extra large, double-double um, decaf, 
four creamers from like the cup creamers, not from like the machine creamer. But then she would ask for some of the machine creamer on the side. Now, when I worked at Tim Hortons, let me tell you guys, I was the motherfucking man. I did not fuck up orders, all right? I was always very nice. But this bitch came in one day and I don't know what was going on in her personal life, but she was not having it. So I made her coffee and I was very nice, even though she was being a major bitch. Asked for the order. Mm, can I get a dollar, a large, double, double, extra fast? No, nah, you know, give me speedo. Give me a fucking fast. I need a fast. And I was like, okay, okay, don't worry. I'll take care of you. I got you. I make the coffee. Or no, no, somebody else makes the coffee for the first time. They fuck it up. They don't get the creamer right or whatever. They say, she, she takes it. It's not enough creamer in this. And I'm like, okay, not enough creamer. All right. I was like, she gets into an argument with the 16 or like the 17-year-old the, the, the that's working and made her coffee. And I'm like, don't worry, ma'am. I'll take care of it. I step in and like save this kid out. I'm like, don't worry about it. She's being a major bitch today. Like, I got this, dude. I make the coffee with precision. With precision. And I make sure, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, it's, we're not going to get this wrong twice. Let's get her the fuck out of here. Let's, let's carry on. Let's have a good day. So I make this coffee with scientific level enhanced precision. I give it to her. By the way, by the way, she asked for like six creamer inside of like her coffee. So she, she drinks it. She takes a sip. She goes, it's not hot enough. And mind you, I made a fresh pot for this, for her. Knowing for a fact that like this shit is hot is but i'm like you asked for in my head i went you asked for six creamer six no shit it's not fucking piping dude creamer cold you put it in your hot drink drink not cold anymore so anyways i'm like okay let me make it again and now at this point i'm like i know this shit is fucking hot like i i know she's tripping so what do i do i caffeinate the fuck out of this bitch I take the power that I know I have, the only power, and I'm giving her jitters for the entire motherfucking day, and I know what I'm doing, too. Like, I'm fully aware. She takes the first sip of that caffeinated coffee. She goes, ah, finally, made right. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, made real right. Have fun for the rest of your day bouncing off the fucking walls. <laughs> Why am I handshaking? Let's 12.30 rolls around. That is my experience. Working at Tim Warren's. One of my experiences working with one of the rudest customers ever. Uh.